Well, News 10 ABC, of course, is your local election headquarters. We are exactly one week away from Election Day, and next Tuesday you won't just see names on your ballot. Voters will be weighing in on two proposed amendments to New York's Constitution. News 10 ABC's Juliana Bruno diving into one to explain how it could affect the school districts where you live. Small city school districts like Johnstown are hoping that voters say yes to Proposition 1, which affects how much debt they're able to incur. School districts in cities with 125,000 residents or fewer, like Albany, Troy, and Johnstown, are currently capped at borrowing 5% of the value of taxable real estate in the district. To Johnstown Superintendent Dr. William Crankshaw, Prop 1 means a leveling of the playing field between his small city district and rural or suburban school districts. The ability to have that flexibility to borrow more when we need it, whether it's for larger projects or for some unforeseen situations in our capital project planning, I think is, is a huge advantage to um, a central school district who can now borrow at 10%. A constitutional amendment similar to this one appeared on New York ballots in 2003, but voters rejected it. Crankshaw believes it wasn't made clear to the public what the prop would do. The language was very confusing and it looked like higher taxes. Well, it's none of that. It's just our ability to borrow more money when it comes to capital planning. And I think that's our job, to explain to our taxpayers, our parents, what this is all about. Assistant Superintendent Alicia Coster explains that removing the 5% debt limit on small districts doesn't mean a spending frenzy will follow. While it might increase our borrowing power, we still have the responsibility on an annual basis to know what our, what our taxpayers can afford um, and what's reasonable um, in that single year budget. Proposition one has support from Governor Kathy Hochul, who signed the bill that addresses the debt limit disparity. If a majority of voters say yes to Prop one, the law will take effect. Reporting in Johnstown, Juliana Bruno, News 10, ABC.